Hello YouTube, I started to play another Doom Snap map. I've got a subscriber recommended map here. This is Go to Hell by a Perfect Pastel. Map description reads, Vega forced you to go to hell. Now you have to fight through demons and escape hell. A Perfect Pastel is also known as Dr. Pepper on YouTube. And uh, he's a subscriber who recommended this map for me. And I want to thank him for being patient. Uh, I've been sitting on this request for almost a couple of weeks now, but... I uh, just want to thank him for being patient and letting me play a couple of other maps, uh, but I also haven't really been playing anything uh, all week because I've actually been getting over a cold. I don't know what it is. Every time, every year when the season changes from summer to fall, I always get, you know, pretty bad colds like clockwork every year, but uh, I'm feeling a bit better now, so I figured I'd uh, go ahead and start playing some of these requests so this is go to hell why don't we check it out all righty all right this is go to hell any problems or bugs give me a message on a xbox one console or youtube <laughs> okay um might be good to give a little bit more information than that because somebody might not necessarily know your YouTube uh, contact information or your Xbox One, maybe. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't have an. Actually, I do have an Xbox One, but I don't have Doom for it, and I don't honestly use it that much. But uh, you might want to give your YouTube name. But for anybody watching, that's his YouTube name is Dr Pepper. So I want to add that. Got a couple of. Uh, of uh, graphics here on the wall seem a little out of place but okay classic mm -hmm. got a switch that says classic that I cannot press yeah here's hell okay oh hey what's this uh, is a robot that I cannot interact with okay anything else yeah. all right let's get started All right, straight into the action. Very good. Oh, right into the wall. First boss, Engineer Demon. Okay. Oh. Ah, did he just crawl out of that base? Oh, what's this? Oh boy. Nah, he falls down. That's hilarious. Oh, just blows himself up. Alright. I guess that was the boss. And this is a secret. Oh, I see a portal in there. How do I get you? Huh. Yeah, I guess I gotta find the portal. Oh, BFG, and another portal. I wonder if I can reach it. Nurr. Come on, reach your arm through the bar. Come on, you can get it. No, nope, guess not. Access denied. Oh, here we go. Ooh, shotgun. Oh, 
Whoa! I just walked into some trouble there. Ah! Cacodemon! Hey, Cacodemon! Flying through the sky so fancy free! Take that! Whoa! Oh man, I'm almost dead. Whoa! I am in some trouble. Okay. Second, secondest boss, Smoky Phantom. All right, come on, secondest boss. I second you. Take some explosive shot. What? Yeah, he's good at out maneuvering. Whoa. Yeah, gotcha. You're done. Done, son. Let's see if I can get a little more health and ammo. Yeah, hey, there we go. Oh, I see a portal. Let's see if I can get it without getting too hurt. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Hey. Uh, hey. I don't want to give up the shotgun. Huh. All right, through the portal, I guess. Yeah. Dang slime. Well, I got a rocket launcher. Hmm. Oh. Uh, two heavy assault rifles. Like, uh, I don't know if I want it more than my rocket launcher, though. I think I'll just hold on to that. Thirdest boss, Chef Demon. Whoa. Welcome to Hell Eat. Oh yeah, that must be the boss right there. He's got a lot of health. Oh boy. Ooh, I detonated that right in my face. <laughs> Eat this, chef. All right. Main menus, gore nest, eyeballs, brain jam, and toe rips? Toe rips. Okay. Uh. Huh, okay. Uh, nothing else going on back here. 
Oh, stuff down there. Hey, a portal. Oh boy. A mini boss event, huh? Oh, I see a, uh, whoa. I see a one of these. Oh. Nice. With plenty of time to spare. a baron. Oh! <laughs> He's a flying baron. Anything else I was supposed to do out here? Oh, here we go. Berserk. I think I'll wait for some enemies to show up first, though. Don't want to waste it. Access denied. Uh huh. I just wonder if there's anything up there that I can get, though. Except, I don't know, I don't really want to jump on these rocks. If I fall down to my death, it could be a permadeath situation. Oh, can't go this way. Well, I guess I'll check it out. Just hopefully I don't, uh, I don't fall to my death. Okay, there's nothing up here. Good to know, good to know. I guess I'll just backtrack then, huh? Or maybe it's one of those things where I'm supposed to grab the Berserk. I mean, there might be something chained off of that. Let's see. Oh, yep, sure enough. Ooh, punched him through the wall. Is that it? Haste. Oh, and uh, yeah, okay. Everything's all gold tinted, or yellow tinted.
gotcha. that's going to start the next wave here. Alright, can't activate that. Alrighty, who else is there? Yeah, and uh, <clears throat> by the way, the neighbor outside is uh, weed whacking his yard, so if there's a... I don't know if anyone can hear that or not, but uh, I apologize if you can. Wait, I was just in the gold room. Hmm. Can I activate this now? Yep, oh, okay. Uh, I'm guessing this ends the game. Oh, I see. Thanks for playing. Make sure to message me if there are bugs or problems. Eh, I can't do anything with that. Yeah, I'll finish it here. Victory! Alrighty, so that was Go to Hell. I'm gonna go ahead and vote it up. Yeah, I thought it was pretty fun. Bosses, well, single player. Not so much hard, maybe. Hmm, it's like a survival. No, not really survival. I guess escape, maybe. Hey, number one. Okay, so that was go to hell. <clears throat> well, let's talk about go to hell. <laughs> um, so, this is a part of my review where I talk about what I liked, what I didn't. I want to go ahead and kick it off with uh, maybe I'll talk about the stuff I didn't like. Get that out of the way first. Um, I didn't like how in the very beginning of the of the match there was uh, two switches. One said classic, and the other said hell. And I don't know why they were both there because the only one I could activate was the one that said hell. And it didn't really do anything other than open a door, which I don't know why the door couldn't just open. Because <laughs> it seemed kind of pointless. And there were also some of those floating uh, 
you know, those floating robots that you usually punch to get, uh, I don't know, some kind of bonus from, and I couldn't interact with those. So, yeah, I, I kind of count that as a, as a, it's just one of those things that makes you stop and scratch your head, like, well, why are these switches here that don't seem to do anything? Uh, so yeah, that's I kind of consider that a negative. Uh, another thing is, uh, <laughs> this isn't like a big negative, but it, it's just kind of funny that some of the bosses were called like secondist or thirdist boss. So I mean, it's just kind of grammatically goofy. Yeah, I don't know. The bosses were uh, the bosses were fine just as bosses. It's just that the names of the bosses were kind of silly. Like uh, Smoky Spectre and the the chef, and uh, y yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it didn't seem to make a whole lot of sense because like it wasn't taking place in a kitchen. Uh, I don't know. I, that was just one of another thing that kind of just left me scratching my head. But you know, I'm glad that there were in fact bosses. Uh, another thing I didn't really care for was the environmental, the environment lighting. It was just kind of arbitrary. It was like I just go into a room and it's like, ah, this is the purple room. And then the next room, ah, this is the red room. And the next room, ah, the yellow room. So I don't really know what the point of that all was. But I mean, it kind of seemed like the, the colors of the rooms were supposed to correspond with the color of the power up that was in there. Because you'd had a room with, uh, you know, the quad damage, haste, uh, berserk. Uh, stuff like that so uh, yeah maybe maybe they were supposed to correlate to which room had the power up but again why does that matter <laughs> I don't I don't know why you know that would be significant uh, the only positive I can say about that though is that it did kind of help uh, as far as like uh, my navigation was concerned it did help knowing like oh this is the yellow room and I've already cleared the yellow room so there's no reason to go back through it um, so I guess if you're not going to do decent landmarking with uh, props or anything then you know the environment just changing the environmental lighting I guess is kind of the poor man's way of fixing that problem but uh, I felt it was just kind of out of place and didn't really add much other than that uh, another issue I had was Vega Vega so uh, the map description reads Vega forced you to go to hell and now you have to fight through demons and escape hell well I guess you do escape hell because you hit a switch somewhere <laughs> But uh, as far as Vega, there was really no, there's really no mention of Vega anywhere throughout the map when you're actually playing the map. It's just this reference to Vega only exists in the map description, and it's never referenced again after that. So um, I don't know why would why would you have a story dynamic like that uh, only exist in the in the title? but not have it mentioned or referenced anywhere in the actual game. Um, I don't know. Just kind of kind of interesting. And uh, and finally, uh, my last issue was uh, the name of the map. Go to Hell. <laughs> Let's talk about the name Go to Hell. Uh, I'd say it is probably the most generic, boring name anyone could have possibly came up for a map to be named. Uh, go to hell. Yeah, you know, I'm actually really glad that you I got a uh, map ID for this map. Otherwise, there's probably about a thousand different maps with this name. Um, and, and you know, it's kind of surprising because one thing that you, you can say about Perfect Pastels maps they actually usually have very good names, generally speaking. Uh, whether it's Loose Screw, uh, Gray Wave, Mega Hush. Think what you will of the maps themselves, but the names always stood out to me as being actually really good names. Uh, pretty good creative names. Um, this one, though, it seemed like he sort of phoned it in. Uh, go to hell. I mean, is that really... I mean, I guess it is relative. I mean, it it is sort of uh, relevant to 
the content of the map as far as you're supposed to be escaping hell um, but it is still an extremely boring not very creative name and uh, and I, I just feel like if Perfect Pastel had taken another minute or two to think of a better name he probably could have so again and I'm not a big fan of the name but again the name's just sort of the name it's not necessarily anything to do with the actual map but that's about all I had as far as negatives let's go ahead and talk about some of the positive things in this map um, lots of good demons and demon killing action I'm surprised you know uh, all the perfect pastel maps I played up until now have basically all been story driven maps with very little if in some cases no action at all so this is actually the first map I've played that actually feels like a real snap map and not just sort of a uh, you know just walking around following somebody with dialogue that's kind of clumsy and <laughs> this is actually I would say a fun map surprisingly so uh, yeah that's amazing I'm, I'm really happy that that he decided to go ahead and actually make a uh, a snap map that has real action and, and is focused on just combat that's great um, I hope more of his maps end up being like that actually big kudos I really liked the action the action was fun another thing I really liked was the secrets there were in fact secrets in this map and the thing about it is the secrets were actually done in one of the best ways that you could do secrets um, and what, by that what I mean is that uh, instead of just having secrets that just sort of are hidden uh, that you might not even know necessarily exist I found one of the best ways to do secrets is to actually tease the player by showing them part of your secret show show them like um, a weapon or a power-up or something that they can see but that they can't quite get to and that was done really well in this level where the author showed a BFG a doom guy doll stuff like that in you know behind those bars in the uh, in the hell module it's just a little teaser like hey there's secrets out here try to find them and that's actually some of you know the bet one of the better ways that a an author can do secrets when they uh, are trying to do it yeah so <clears throat> as far as secrets go the secrets were executed extremely well in this map uh, I only found one of the secrets I only found the one that got me the rocket launcher I never figured out how to get the BFG um, but you know it, you kind of don't need it in this level because I feel like you're sort of given good enough weapons as far as the kind of enemies you're supposed to go up against I didn't think the enemies were too too difficult uh, so but you know it's good to know I could have found a BFG another thing I want to talk about that was really good in this map was the existence of bosses uh, now I did criticize that the boss names were kind of silly like uh, um, smoked paprika specter or whatever it was and the the, the chef uh, th this isn't a this isn't a map that's themed around cooking or being in a kitchen it's just go to hell so when I start seeing those kind of silly boss names they kind of stand out as not being <laughs> they sort of they, they seem out of place but you know I am happy that there were in fact bosses because uh, bosses are always great and what was well done about these bosses is that there was actually a uh, HUD objective that showed up that that gave you like you know the boss's health or whatever just basically showed you that yes what you're going up against is a boss which I gotta say a lot of other mappers don't remember to do that they'll have they'll, they'll have a demon in there that's supposed to be a boss and they'll mess with his stats and make him all strong and you know uh, meddle with his attributes but they won't actually give an objective marker to let you know that the demon you're fighting is in fact a boss now that's something that the author did do in this map which I really appreciate because it's always good to know that you're fighting a boss because 
how else are you going to know that? Uh, and it does have a pretty significant impact on the way that you approach a demon when you think that they're a boss. You might anticipate them having, you know, more health, more damage. That's going to completely change the way you approach any demon if they're a boss. So it's really great that he had the bosses and that he gave an indication that it was a boss. So that was all well done. So, yeah, go to hell. Um, I'm going to go ahead and talk about, I'm going to go ahead and name my favorite and least favorite thing about this map. So, favorite thing, I got to say, my favorite thing has to be the action. Uh, this is the first perfect pastel map I've played where it's actually been focused on action and not on telling some kind of a story, which, uh, you know, I don't, I'm not, I don't necessarily dislike story based maps, but in, in the case of perfect pastel, I, I certainly prefer his action driven maps more. Uh, it, it is definitely a welcome change. <laughs> to actually have a map where you're just fighting demons and it's action-packed and you know I mean those story-driven maps uh, you know great for grandma if she wants to play a snap map but for most of us who are looking for demon killing this is more of what we're looking for right here this map go to hell uh, definitely delivers in the demon killing department so that had to be my favorite thing. I'm going to go ahead and find my least favorite thing. My least favorite thing about this map, I'm going to have to say, was the environmental lighting. Uh, just how all the different rooms, for no apparent reason, had different lighting colors. Like, uh, you know, yellow, blue, red, purple. Uh, all that stuff was kind of unnecessary. I mean, I've got nothing against environmental lighting when it's appropriate. If there's a kind of a real reason why a room would be yellow or purple, then I have no problem with it being that color. But when there's just no reason at all, no reason given, it just it just stands out and it's so jarring. And I think there was supposed to be some kind of an association with the, the color of the room and the color of the pickups, but again who cares that doesn't seem to matter so yeah the environmental lighting didn't didn't do anything for me but uh yep so there you go that was go to hell by perfect pastel and uh gotta say probably his best map so far if anybody watching this has a map they'd like to recommend for me to play go ahead and leave it in the comments below with a map id thanks for watching and until next time peace out